over there and watching my lecture i am going to share my knowledge in this platform i am mrs deepika and i have completed be in the stream of ece and i have cracked gate for two times as a first series we are going to see aptitude series the whole series is subdivided into modules under each module i'll cover the topics which are interrelated such an arrangement is made to avoid confusion yes we are going to see topic by topic with better illustration i promise that i'll not solve only easy problems but i'll make sure i will explain how to solve tricky problems i'll provide practice problems at the end of each topic and solution to those problems will be given in the later part of the module as a first topic we are going to see basics of number system are you ready yes let's start learning we are going to see positioning of numbers it seems silly but then we are going to revise everything each and everything yes okay here is our example number which has several digits we are going to say the names of position of the digits in this number let's begin we are going to start from right hand side good let's begin your name tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakh ten lakh crore and ten crore yeah we have completed okay as a next thing we are going to see place value or local value place value or local value of a digit varies according to the value of it and also according to the position in which the digit is being placed here we are going to see an example 4859 here 9 is placed in units place 5 in tens place 8 in hundreds place and 4 in thousands place we are going to calculate the place value or local value of each and every digit placed here okay we are going to multiply the digit with its position value for example 9 is placed in units place so it has to be multiplied with 1 5 in tens place so it is multiplied with 10 8 is placed in hundreds place we have to multiply it with 100 and for 4 we have to multiply with 1000 because it is placed in thousands place you got it right okay we are going to see face value face value is very simple because irrespective of the position in which the digit is being placed face value is its own value here nines face value is 9 five face value is 5 eight face value is 8 four face value is 4 okay that's all next we are going to see interesting topic types of numbers okay it is also simple but then we are going to revise can you name uh, sorry can you say what are natural numbers good 1 2 3 are called as natural numbers now if we add zero in the beginning then what it is 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 or whole numbers good okay now if we add negative numbers to this list then what it is called etc comma minus 3 comma minus 2 comma minus 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 are called integers good since it includes both positive and negative numbers we can subdivide these integers into two that is positive and negative integers yes positive positive integers consist of positive numbers negative integers consist of negative numbers we have to note that zero is included in both the case next we are going to see even and odd numbers even numbers are the numbers which are divisible by 2 good 0 to comma 2 comma 4 comma are called as even numbers here 0 is included we have to note that next thing odd numbers odd numbers are the one 
so not divisible by 2 and we call 1 2 sorry 1 3 5 are called as odd numbers next prime numbers prime numbers are the numbers which has only two factors first of all what is a factor if we take an number x and say for example x is divisible by 7 then 7 is a factor of x okay in other words number is a multiple of factor okay here we have only two factors that is one as its factor and one number as its other factors so uh, let me explain with some example 2 comma 11 okay if we take 2, 2 is divisible by 2 and 1, that's all. 11 is divisible by 1 and 11, that's all. Okay, then these numbers are called as prime numbers. We can have uh, another example like 6. If we take 6, it is 2 into 3. So, it has other factors other than 1 and its own number. In between 1 and 100, we have totally 25 prime numbers. And here is the list. If you want this list, please pause the video and take it out. If we observe carefully in this list, only 2 is the even prime number. Why? Because other than 2, all the other even number has 2 as its factor. Okay, next composite numbers. Composite numbers are the numbers which are not a prime number. It has the factors other than 1 and its own number. Say for example, if we take 8, 2 into 2 into 2, we can write that as 2 is a factor which is not 1, which is not its own number, okay? Next, co-primes. Numbers A and B has HCF as 1, then we call A and B as co-primes, okay? Here, if we take 2 and 3, if we take HCF of 2 and 3, it is 1. 4 comma 5, 1. 7 comma 9, 1. 8,11,1. Okay. HCF as 1 will get only if both the numbers does not have a common factor. It is not necessary that A and B should be a prime number. As, as in the name we have co prime, we should not get confused. Okay. Whether the number is prime or composite, it does not matter. Uh, the thing is, HCF of those two numbers should be 1. Then we can call those two numbers as co-primes when combinedly they don't have common factor. That is the meaning of co-primes. Okay. Next, uh, we can consider, uh, next we are going to see one important topic that is test of divisibility. Okay. If a big number is given and we are asked to find whether the number is divisible by 2 or 3 or 5 or etc. We have some rules, okay? First rule, if the number is divisible by 2, then the unique place of the digit consists of 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Then it will be divisible by 2. Divisibility condition of 3, we have to find the sum of digits of the number if the sum is divisible by 3, then the whole number will also be divisible by 3. For 4, we have to take the last two digits of the given number. If the last two digits of the given number is divisible by 4, then the whole number will be divisible by 4. 5. From the fifth table, we can understand that the multiples of 5 will consist 0 or 5 in its unit place. So that is the condition. The unit place should be 0 or 5 in order to uh, the in order to 5 as a factor to that given number. Okay, next 6. The number should be divisible by both 2 and 3 because 6 is equal to 2 into 3. Then it means that the uh, whole number should satisfy the conditions of of both 2 and 3. Next 8. For 8 we have to consider the last 3 digits and we have to check for the, the 3 digit number whether it is divisible by 8 or not. If it is divisible by 8 then the whole number will also be divisible by 8. Next 9. We have to take the sum of digits of the given number. If the sum is divisible by 9 then the whole number will also be divisible by 9. Next 10. Unit digit should be 0. Next. 11. Three steps. First step, take the sum of odd place digits 
and sum of even placed digits find the difference between these two sums if the difference value is divisible by 11 then the whole number will also be divisible by 11 16 we have to consider the last four digits check whether the last four digit is divisible by 16 if it is divisible by 16 then the whole number will also be divisible by 16 we have to note 2 power 1 which is equal to 2 for divisibility check of 2 we considered last unit digit for 2 power 2 which is equal to 4 we took last two digits for 8 equal to 2 to the power 3 we took last three digits for 16 2 to the power 4 which we took last four digits okay that's all for the today's class in the next class we are going to see example problems on basics of number systems okay comment your suggestions and if you like this video and if you really learned anything from this video please consider subscribing thank you